Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday. Uh, I'm a little bit chilly. We're going pumpkin picking in a bit. So I'm going to go and get myself a new hoodie out of the stock in the Weybridge office because um, all the others are in the wash. I'm going to upset Ian now because I know it's in one of these boxes and he doesn't like me opening the boxes until he's ready to put them in the bags. But I'm cold, so I'm just going to take a pot guess of which one I think they're in. Well, they're not in that one. Not in that one, that's packed as well. Third time looking. Third time looking. They look like oddies now do this is the box but well, that's xl's in that box so i'll have to keep rooting the fourth box now i have some hoodies underneath that's double xl and pink ones it's gotta be this one now that's fifth box turn it left oh that's more hats dusty pinks in stock as well actually found them in the sixth box I looked in. Dope. A couple of people have commented now saying that it's messing up with their OCD. The mud guard on the Zerion not matching. Well, it, it's basically snapped off, it's missing. So this bracket there has cracked. The top arm and the bit that goes over the top, which is this bit here, that's missing off it. So we have actually ordered one. It's only a short piece of plastic and that framework. So hopefully that'll be in soon. We just asked them to put it on a stock order because we weren't in a hurry for it. And that way then you get a bit of a discount on it rather than it just being like an overnight part because we're not broken down. It's just get it looking a bit smarter. Some lovely markings on pheasants. So bright. There's quite a few left. I think they've only dug one headland. It's going to be a pain this field because it's got landing lights for the airport in it. So we'll probably have to drill it short ways so that we're not folding up around every single set of lights when we spray it. Just come for a look at the summer barley. I've come to the other end of the field that I normally come to. You can see the tram lines are still got whiskers sticking up, but the rest of the field, it's what you'd call necked over. And in some places it's actually gone a little bit flat, especially in the corners, maybe because it gets a little bit extra fertiliser perhaps. Um, it wants coming off though, we need to cut this as soon as we can. It has given it dry on Monday and today and windy and then Tuesday's dry as well, so it will probably be the day to get it off. Um, it will need drying, we do that anyway. Um, there's no way we're going to get up to 50% moisture mainly because it's not quite ripe enough but I think we get it before the elements get it I suppose is the best way to describe it so, if you want to see more anyway have a look at the real country file I've done a bit more detail into it on that which is out now link below remember the field of OSR that the caterpillars were completely munching it and stripping it bare well I'm in it now and I actually cannot find where it was that they were stripping bare um, I came in didn't I with the sprayer did like two or three acres of in a 70 60 acre field just spot sprayed little chunks and it obviously was just enough to to stop them sort of going going mental and taking the whole field either that or the cold weather's knocked them out but the plants have recovered they've, they've obviously grown new leaves and yeah look it looks great now so i'm quite happy with that it's not too advanced which as long as we keep the pigeons off it's good because it means we don't have to put a fungicide on it it makes it cheap to grow and then after winter then we'll push it then once we know we've got a crop that the pigeons haven't taken or the slugs but yeah i'm quite pleased that the uh, the caterpillars never finished the field off just thought i'd show you this here this is what happens when it gets loads of fertilizer so along this headland here um it was quite bare the kids come out the woods on pedal bikes motorbikes anything they've stolen and destroy it so when i sprayed it the wheat last year i gave this an extra dose of fertilizer just to see if the wheat would push on a bit and recover anyway the wheat didn't because it's dry it's quite light land and it died off 
but the fertilizer's still there and the OSR has got hold of it and this must be 20 times the size of the rest of it in the middle of the field and then here this is interesting there was a slight leak on the sprayer as I was finishing off on a, one of the fill pipes and it just left a little bit of a trail down there and that's come on really well as well but yeah so this has had a very little fertilizer and then that's got all the loads that does look amazing but if the whole field looked like that we'd have to be putting a fungicide on it now so we'll uh, i'm quite happy that we've got coverage on that but yeah that does look well though this was potatoes last monday anyway they were dug we leveled it off and then joe drilled it for us because he still had the drill on his tractor and there's been bikes and motorbikes all over this already a bit wet in this corner here i've got to get on this this week and put a pre-emergence spray on so hopefully we've got a few good dry days and it'll firm up a bit enough to travel with the sprayer this is so annoying so this is drilled with wheat looks great Someone in a four-wheel drive has been driving, squeezing past these blocks here, driving through it, because there's a big puddle over there, and they've been playing in it, and then going right up to the top there, probably ch shooting rabbits as well, coming off the railway. It's an absolute mess now. It, it floods because the road floods it. There's this road dips down, it's a sort of five lanes wide in places. Comes in, the drains don't work, the council's supposed to be fixing them, but have been for the last 10 years. Floods all down here towards the pylon, and then they obviously the four-wheel drive come on and play in it. So we're gonna have to block this gateway up, or maybe employ a stinger. I mean, are they legal for home use? Yeah, guess from Brookhouse getting in a taxi. Look a bit worse for work. Another shameless plug for the merchandise. Great for running with the dog. Dogs here. Someone's come to look who wants to buy his Maxim. So I think he's gonna give it. How does pallet wrap completely unwrap itself and end up like that? Must be the wind, mustn't it? Anyway, just look at this massy. Will I ever get time to do it up or should I just sell it? What do you think? I know it needs doing up, but it's just dunno whether I'm ever gonna get a chance. I think the next one to get in the workshop after we finish the 1690 will be the uh, MB track, because that, that's a proper smart tractor, it just needs tidying up. While Rob is getting his case ready for sale, I just thought I'd show you the uh, 1455 as well, which is the best sounding case ever made. Uh, no question of that at all. And then we've got another little case over there, so let's go and find it. And if we squeeze through here, we've got the 585 X British Sugar Tractor um, on a C plate. Absolutely immaculate original condition. Pretty much out of the box condition to be fair. There's one more case left I think on the yard, we'll find it. Yeah, this is another big case in the collection, a 4494. So this has come back from Sweden. Some of you will know this, but some new watchers won't. Original tires, worked on a peat bog in Sweden, so the tires have never worn. Absolutely immaculate, the trolley bogs. But yeah, this is a uh, same era as the 1455 and the 585, but obviously, big American style equal wheel thing pretty similar to the class I suppose um, apart from the color class of system tracks because there's more of a platform on the back this doesn't equally though both four wheels steer but it just looks a bit of an animal I think at least everyone's at the track to fix anyway I'm gonna go pumpkin picking now with Olivia and James and Charlotte so we'll go and see what that's like <laughs> James is first time oh, the dogs got to leave <laughs> Dogs <laughs> just really pulled me over. So where are we, James? We're at Pumpkin Patch High Town, and you can find it on Facebook if you look there. Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. There and there's the man with the snow machine on his uh, <laughs> loaded shovel. Is it ready for this year? Yeah, it's all ready, ready to go. Bigger than better. 19th of December. Don't forget, it's a Monday night this year. Bigger than Eurovision and the Giants. Excited, Chester. <laughs> Seen another dog. These are all local businesses, aren't they? The face painting. All done. 
Spooky soaps. Burgers and mm, donuts. All the different kinds. There's big orange ones, little white ones, little stripy ones. By the way, you're paying for these, Dad. There we go. Yes, Dad. Smile. No. Oh, it's too wobbly. Yes, probably. Smile. There's class hat on. There's Henry running out of the way. This is the first the two barrel falls. We're going back to sweet corn in a minute. Now we're going to get some sweet corn. We're going to go deep. Get the ones with the brown tassels. So they're the most right. Ooh, dropping them now. You can't beat fresh sweet corn. Microwave them. No, get a bigger one. Bigger and juicy one, Heidi. Just teach your meanies how to harvest it. That's a good one, get that one. Top tip when harvesting sweet corn. It's all the corn, the juicier the cobs. There's loads of them. Go on, Chester, stand next to that for scale. Size of them. That one over there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> massive. Look at this. Look at that. It's huge. Thousands of them as well. Possibly millions. Apparently you can eat the flowers off pumpkins and then um, some people batter them. You made it out of the maze, Kaz. Stand next to it for scale. Are you sat there? <laughs> Sweet Caroline and Hive's Liz are both out today. And, and Henry's hiding. <laughs> Come on, put your head in. Put your head in again. Where have you gone? It's like a, it's like a plague of geese, isn't it? as well. That's the old landing over there. The worse than pigeons. Big swarm of them. That's that's Clayton, have you not got a job to do? Uh, that for a foam mast. We'll do a part two about it because it might be long. Just at the sunflower maze check they brought all picnic benches home but someone has dumped um the remains of a cannabis farm in the corner like hidden it as well don't believe it would you don't forget calendars are still in stock ian's has to come in on sunday to get some of the orders out because there's so many and put the boxes back straight that i was rummaging through this morning and putting these back into stock as well so be quick this is today's birthday bum. We've got Grace Burton, she's six, Gareth Aitkin, Marv, Sean Richardson, Alfie Farr, and last but not least, Keith Mayo, my Uncle Keith, the one and only. Uh, don't forget, scan the screen if you want to go to the birthday bumper. It's nearly 13,000 fan. I've not written it on, hold on. Pound. So I'm sure tomorrow it will tick over the £13,000, which is amazing. Thank you. It's all going to the North West Air Ambulance. And also, the, by the fact that we're raising money for charity, means that people have to enjoy looking at other people's birthdays if it's not yours. But at least you've contributed to a good cause by, just by watching. So thank you. That is all for today, anyway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, check them out. Pumpkin Patch High Town, if you're local. It's not that far. Just straight down the M57. Go and check them out. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow when we'll get a bit more farming done. Hopefully it's going to be dry as well. And one last thing, The Real Country File is live as well. The link's below this video if you want to go and check that out. Right, I've gone. See you tomorrow.